Hi everyone, it's Eddie here. Welcome back to my channel, it's Eddie Makes Art. And today I am so proud to introduce you to my three stencil designs. And these are all brand new and they're available at pmartiststudio.com. And when you go to pmartiststudio.com and you make a purchase of $35 or more, you're gonna get 10% off using my special discount code, EddieFan10. And all that info is gonna be in the description box. And if you're not familiar with them, PM Artist Studio is a mom and daughter team. And they are P as in Patricia, M as in Mariah. And they are artists. And they both um, live stream four times a week. And they, um, you can see here, they're on Central Time because they're in Texas. So they stream Sundays and Mondays at 10 a.m. and Tuesdays and Thursdays at 3 p.m. So adjust for your time zone, obviously. Um, and it's definitely a fun, a fun place to hang uh, for a couple of hours, try to get away from everything and just have some arty fun and hang with some really, really fun people um, in the chat. Um, and so if you go to their website, they have a, um, membership program. So for, um, 15% off anything in the shop, you can sign up for the mucky muck level. And then the next level is loverly. And that gives you 20% off anything in the store, including sale items. So for example, um, they have exclusive stencils that are exclusive for the first eight weeks they're released. Um, and they are designed by PM Artist Studio. Those are the ones that you will, um, not be able to see unless you're part of the Mucky Muck or Loverly, um, membership. Um, so, you know, if you want it before everybody else, that's a great way to, um, to get your new stencil and, you know, be the cool kid on the block. So um, I just wanted to let you know that we also have a Facebook group that um, I belong to. It's called, it's run by PM Artist Studio and it's called Makers of Mixed Media Art and Artists. Um, and the links will be in the description box and I invite you to come and um, check us out. It's um, fun. It's um, very, you know, creative, full of fun, wonderful people. Um, so, you know, give it a shot. Check us out. You can see a lot of my art on there as well. So let me introduce you to my new things here, my new stencils. Ah, I'm so excited. So you see my logo there. This is barbell stencil, barbell lattice. And the size I have in this one is the 8x10 because I don't have a plate larger than 8x10, so it's unnecessary. Um, and you can see I've given this a lot of love already. Um, you might have seen it in another video. So that one is, and these are all cut from uh, UPO, uh, synthetic sheets. And um, you can see here, it resists buckling with wet media and can be wiped clean or let the grunge build up, adding unique texture to the prints. Um, now, once they're gunked up like this with the paint and they're grunged up and they look, you know, very well used, you can always soak them. And on their blog on pmartistudio.com, there are different ways, they give you different ways to, um, to clean your stencil. So what I do is I soak them uh, with some Dawn dish detergent and water, and I'll let them sit for about a day, um, depending on the thickness of the layer of paint on there. And then it easily wipes away, or like if you use a gentle brush, I use, for example, this, and it's very, it's pretty soft. It's got some stiffness, but it's pretty soft and, you know, go around like this. But you have to be very careful because you don't want to scrub too hard or you can um, you can rip the design and you don't want to do that. But OK, so here are my new um, other new stencils. They're called Diamond Rings and it's uh, two styles. This is stencil um, style one. And it is a beauty. Look at that. Some great curves and some larger openings, smaller openings. A lot of possibilities with this one. And it's not just for a gel plate and just for acrylic paints. You can use them with all sorts of stuff, um, including uh, things like pastels, pan pastels, watercolor, texture paste, stencil butters, 
all kinds of stuff. Just if you want to keep it pristine like this, just make sure you clean it after each session of use. And that way it'll stay nice and fresh and your, your print will always come out nice and crisp. Um, but like, you know, I did with my other one, you can leave that one. You can leave it uh, to grunge up if that's your um, if that's your thing. And then this is style two. Um, and I got also a five by seven. These come in three sizes. They come five by seven, eight by 10 and nine by 12. Um, I only use a five by seven and an eight by 10 plate. So that's, that's the only reason I got a smaller one um, and I don't have the large one. Um, so this is style two. And again, it's got some great um, openings and shapes, small, large, um, curves, lot, straight lines, so a lot of possibilities. So I thought um, I'm gonna try uh, this one. I'm gonna use this, this one. No, I'm gonna use style one and we'll make some prints. Give me a second to set up, I'll be right back. All right, I'm all set up, ready to go. Got my prayer, got my prayer off sheets. And I think I wanna start with this new color I just got recently. Um, and this is from Lucas Krill. It's their mauve remove however you want to pronounce it it's 4729 it's a semi-transparent and it includes the colors the pigments uh permanent red 146 and permanent violet 23 so you got that combo there and then i also want to use um some of this alizarin crimson and prussian blue and also a little bit of color shift this is the purple flash and um these are great i add them to just the straight acrylic and mix it up and it creates a really really cool effect so first i want to lay down this color here and i'm going to give it a little bit of this purple flash you want to make sure you shake it up well and i try to get it on to the paint the the solid acrylic so that um it doesn't cause smears on on the plate um so Mm hmm here we go not as not as great as I wanted but it's gonna look it's gonna look good so, I hope you are all doing fantastic making art watching videos staying out of the cold and I know that um, like today was a decent weather day here, but now we're expecting a bunch of snow overnight. So that should be interesting. So I'll just lay my stencil down and I'm gonna use some Carnival Wet Strength tissue to uh, pick up what I've to come up through here. Now, again, this is my first time using these, so I'm very excited to see the results. Um, it should be, it should be pretty cool. Let's see, here's a, just a piece of uh, paper towel. Ooh, I uh, messed that up. I'm, I'm, too, I'm so excited, that's the problem. All right, and sometimes you can push a little bit just to get everything up through the, um, through the openings in the stencil. Let's see, there we go. Oh, wow. Doesn't that look great? Oof. I did smooch it, but you know. What you're gonna do? Um, I'm just gonna leave that color on there. Um, there's still some paint. No, no biggie. I'm gonna add a little bit of this Prussian blue. And... Not too much. That's my problem. I put too much on, but you know. What you gonna do? This is a great shade of, of blue. I'm gonna make sure we get all these edges and corners so no one's missing out. And one of the things though too, when you have a lot of openings like this on a stencil and you're putting paint over it, you wanna make sure you have enough paint to get into all the nooks and crannies. Uh, should we pull it up? I'm not gonna pull it just yet. I'm gonna go ahead and just get some, actually for this one, I'm gonna get a piece of rice paper. 
and we'll do a print on that. Now with the rice paper, you have to be careful not to leave it on too long or it will stick and rip and be a holy mess. See, it's already wanting to stick. So you see how quickly I did that. Now, if I left it on any longer, this would have stuck to my stencil and the plate and it would have been a holy mess. Come on, there we go. Love that little little, little bit of like purpley kind of action going on there. Let me set this to the side. So let's do one more color and then we will uh, do a final pull. So this is what it looks like. That's gonna be the top layer, let's say, right? So let's add some, I don't wanna do the alizarin on this one, but what if we did some of the shiny blue? This is iridescent, blue, blue green, but it's more blue, oops. Now, if you ever watch Julie Torrens um, on YouTube, she has um, a gel print video where she made a bunch of backgrounds for Valentine's. And um, one of her paints made that noise. It was so funny. And she told the story about how her grandson likes to make the ketchup bottle noise. And he'll do it on command. You know, whenever, when, you know, when, the, when you squeeze a ketchup bottle, it makes the farty noise. He loves to do that. I'm like, yeah, that's awesome. Ooh, the brayer off is going to be fantastic. Let's get some carnival to see. This first one is dry, so I'm just going to go ahead and use it again. Not perfect, but it should be interesting. And the reason I like using the carnival tissue with... Um, gel printing is because it doesn't stick it holds up well it's a wet strength tissue so it, you know it can take a lot and it won't rip on you it won't stick oh look at this look at that that is so cool and that's something that's funny something fun you can do when you're gel printing is um if you're printing on on a on something you've already printed you know and you're using the same pattern switch it up a little bit so you get a kind of um, more interesting effect uh, so I think this is ready to be picked up now I'm gonna let that dry and then I'll pick it up with another color but let me show you how I clean my stencil okay, let me get one of these sheet here and by clean, I mean just take off this extra paint that's on there. So I'll just run my brayer over it. Again, with this paper, it's copy paper, but you got to be careful. You don't want it to stick. See, we got another print there. How great is that? All right, let's get my other plate and we'll keep playing. So is this one clean? Yeah, this one's clean. A little gunky here that's okay this is uh gunk left over from the last gel printing video where i did the um grungy prints that was fun and if you ever watched it i'll link it um at the end of the video and you can watch that after this one so put the stencil back well uh, this time let's just put the stencil down on the bare plate so then we're going to, let's use this alizarin crimson. And what else do we want to use? Some alizarin. Can do mauve, a little bit of mauve down here. And what am I feeling? What am I feeling? I need a something. In the red, maybe? I don't know. I 
Let's use this prism violet, not prison. Prism. So you can see this is prism violet. All right, if you know, you know. So this will, this will create a sort of ombre. You can see, I should have put a little more of the alizarin crimson because it's not getting such a great um, filling in, but that's okay. It's all, it's, it's all fun and games here. Look at that. Yeah, and you see where I missed some spots here that I could have added more paint. So that's a learning lesson, right? When you um, have a lot of openings in your stencil design, put some more, put a little extra paint down. All right, so that's going to dry. And then we can pick that up with another color. Let's see. Clean this off on here and get a little bang for our buck. Okay, isn't that cool? Like a 3D. 3D effect. While those other two prints are drying, the other two plates, I'm going to take a baby wipe and show you how you can get another print using the baby wipe and a piece of watercolor paper. Um, that's what I have underneath, just plain watercolor paper, uh, cold press. And you just take your wipe and wipe it off. another beautiful print just by using a wipe so how about that that's awesome all right this one's nice and dry and i'm going to pick it up with this gold this is um 4612 from lucas krill this one's almost out too but it's because i use it so much because it's awesome mm. All right, that should be plenty. Don't be shy when putting down for a pickup layer sometimes, uh, especially if you have a few layers of paint on the plate already. Give that, um, you wanna give it enough paint so it sticks to the other paint. All right, okay, I think I got every, every little bit covered. And I'm going to get some of my hammer mill color copy paper. It's a little thicker here. Try and center it as best I can. And here comes the boom. Got the Baron Wood Baron by Anthony Cody. And this helps to burnish the paper down onto the plate, smooths it out so you're getting that nice, even. Uh, print and hopefully you get everything up nicely and if you don't sometimes what you can do is you can add a little acrylic gel medium to your to the plate and then put the print back down carefully and pick up so you can pick up the um, the pieces that did not stick the first time so that's what it's going to look like. Hopefully. <laughs> it should be. It should be good. I'm going to let it sit. And let me turn my attention to the other plate. This should definitely be dry. Although, let me see here. Yeah. It needs a second. It needs a little bit. There's some purple business here that's still a little shiny. Um, so, let me wait a second. All right, it is dry. And for this, I'm gonna pick it up with the um, PBO 
Uh, here we go. Iridescent green yellow. I don't have my glasses on. It's number 359. And this is a fabulous metallic paint. It's the same as the blue, the blue green that we used earlier. All right. So this should be a fun print. Again, the brayer shoots are gonna be fantastic. So let me get my hammer and paper, set that down and bring in the boom. Those edges are important. Make sure you get those. All right, we'll let this dry. And uh, when I come back, I will show you the two prints. Okay, I think this one's ready to go. So I'm just gonna make sure the edges are not stuck. Call it cracking the edges. Cause we don't want those sticking down cause then it'll ruin our design. So let's take a peek. Oh boy. That is super. Look at how gorgeous that is. Don't you want that stencil, the stencil now? Yes, you do. That is a wiener wiener chicken dinner. Oh, I really love that. I'm glad I picked it up with the gold. It just looks more luxurious. Cool. Okay. Let's take a peek at the other one. This one should be dry as well. Oh, that's going to look cool. I wish I hadn't mucked that up, but, you know, live and learn. It's just paper. Let's make sure our edges are not stuck down. Give them a little crack crack. Now you could certainly leave these overnight if you wanted to, um, or for you know a few hours. Um, but I find that if your plate has been conditioned well, that it shouldn't take too long for a couple of layers to pull up. Now, if you're working with a lot of layers, you do want to let that sit for a while. Okay. Oh, look at the shiny, shiny goodness. Oh boy. That is another winner. How fantastic is that? It's so good. That green just, just really works with it. Because if you look at the color wheel, the opposite of a lot of these of these, these reds and, and violets is in the green family, in the brighter green family. Um, and so, you know, if you're doing it right, you don't want, you want to do it where your, your color, your green is not mixing with your purples and reds. Otherwise, you're going to get brown and just blah. So that's why I let that first layer dry and then picked it up with the paint, uh, the green paint, um, so that they wouldn't mix, but they create a really, really cool contrast. All right, so that's one and two. How awesome is that? And then this is uh, my new stencil. I'm so excited. And what did I do with the other ones? So that is style number one, diamond rings. Available in three sizes, five by seven, eight by 10, and nine by 12. Now, I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and comment and those three things like are the best things you can do to help my channel out i really appreciate it thanks for stopping by and i will see you in the next video bye